welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you guys could join me today. We are going to do another what's in my bag video and I'm going to be doing this bag that I got from Soul Society and I saw so many people that had it and I had to have it. So I do. <laughs> I have it and I'm going to show you how I organized it and I'll be right back to tell you and if you're not subscribed please hit the button and do so and let's get started. So all the links that I can find, I will list below for you the bag and um, everything else. So this is kind of like a taupe color and it does have the handles and it also has the shoulder strap should you want to do it. And it also has the latches so that if you wanted to take it off, you could. Um, I kind of carry this in like the crook of my arm and I just let this. Um, slide down because I know the minute I take this off I'm gonna want to use it as a shoulder bag <laughs> so I don't take it off I just let it kind of dangle there and it has like the little soul society tag on it and it's real leather <clears throat> so you can't go wrong with that it's very very sturdy very structured that's another huge selling point it does have a front snap that opens and it does have like a little pouch in here I don't put anything in there, but I guess like if you were to go to the post office and you had like some bills to mail out or <clears throat> you had like an invitation somewhere or something like that, I would stick it in there. Um, but I have to say that this purse is full and it definitely holds quite a bit. So I'm really happy about that as well. So now let's get inside my bag and I'll show you what I have. Okay, I tried to get my bag in the shot as best as I could, but I can't. And it's so funny because whenever you watch these videos, like people going in and out, it looks like Mary Poppins. To me, it does anyway. Like, oh, look, there's a lamppost and oh, look, there's shoes and, <laughs> but there's not. So I just have it sitting on my vanity and we're gonna go through it. So I'm gonna let you see the inside first. So as you can see, it is jam packed full. And it has like a really pretty like um, leopard spots on the inside, which I love. The, the zipper itself also very sturdy, so you don't have to worry about that as well. But as you can see, it holds an awful lot. And I could probably even have stuck a little bit more in there if I wanted to. But this is like when I take the things out of my work tote to go into my weekend bag. <clears throat> These are kind of the essentials that go back and forth. And I have changed a few things here or there. So first things first is my lovely makeup case. <laughs> so I think I got this at um, TJ Maxx. So I don't know if I can link it. If I can, I will. Otherwise, you know, just kind of go to TJ Maxx, look around. And I think it was on clearance. So I think I paid like three or four dollars for it. This was in a haul I did. So I'll try to find it for you. <laughs> so that'll just kind of show you what's inside. <laughs> then it means I think about my husband sent me like a beautiful little message in flowers for our anniversary. So I just kind of like tucked my card to my flowers in there. And then I have this, which I'm actually wearing right now. It's like a shimmer stick from Pixie I got from Kohl's. I have that in there. <laughs> I have this little roller ball. So in case, um, it's kind of like the Blatterazzi sheets. Um, instead of sheets, you just kind of, if you have a like, shiny spot, just kind of roll it on there. And I got this, it will be linked to my Amazon store under makeup. And the link is below, so just go to my link tree. Then from that, go to my Amazon storefront. And you can find a lot of things in there that I'm gonna mention and makeup stuff is on there. So that's on there. Then I have a couple different powders. I have an LA Colors one. I have an e.l.f. one, which is a little bit darker because I'm tan right now. Um, normally I would use the lighter one. I don't even know why I have it still in there, but I do. So I have that. <laughs> I have this empty makeup one just because I like the mirror so much. And I know I can buy, you know, a, a lighted mirror from Amazon or whatever, but I'm just so used to using this one that I decided I'm just going to keep using it. I have a lip liner, <laughs> which is in the color. It's by NYX. It's like a mauve color and I am using that as well right now. I have this little cute little makeup brush, powder brush that I bring with me. I also got this from Amazon, also linked in my Amazon store and it just pops out and there you have it. So if, whichever powder I want to use, I kind of just shake it off a little bit and then you just put the cover up and it's like the size of a lipstick. So it doesn't take up a lot of room in your makeup bag. 
which I love. <coughs> I have some Nivea chapstick, which is always good to have. I have some other coconut, tropical coconut lip balm by RVO, which I also love. And before, sometimes before I put my makeup on in the morning, I will just let this sit on my lips while I do everything else. And then I'll put my lip gloss or lipstick on over this. It just, I feel it keeps your lips really smooth through the day. So I like to do it that way. I have another lip product. I got this from Kohl's actually. And it's Kohl Lab. And it's in the color mauve. And I'll take it out for you so you can see. It is like a true mauve color. I like to have options in my makeup bag because sometimes I might start the day with one color but then I switch to a different one <laughs> during the day. I don't know if you guys do that too. Leave me a comment if you do. I tend to, to change it up sometimes or I'll put one color over another color and then it makes a whole new color. <laughs> so try to get creative that way. And then I have, and this is the eyeliner that I've been using and I've been doing a winged liner lately. And this is great because it has the shape of the wing. I don't know if you can see that really well, but it has the shape of the wing on one side. So you just put it there, it's like a stamp. So that's on one side. And then on the other side is a liner. So you can kind of go over it like I did right here, if you can see it, and just kind of go over your upper lid and bring it out to the wing. But I got two of these and I think I got these on Amazon. So just check in my Amazon store for it again under makeup and this should be listed right there. And I think that's it. Oh, no. Nope. I have one other couple other things. I have a pair of tweezers because you never know when you're going to have a an eyebrow that the girl at the salon missed, but I actually pluck my own. So I always have to have this in case I missed one. I find that the mirror in my car outside is the best mirror. If I missed one, I will find it outside. So that's what I tend to do. And then I just have um, the Butter Lip Gloss by NYX as well. You can see that, but I have that as well. And I can't see the color. Sorry guys, no glasses on, <laughs> but that's the color anyway. And I know that you can find a, this at any Walgreens, any convenience, uh, not convenience store, any drugstore, Walmart, anywhere sells the NYX products. So that's what I have in that bag. So that takes out a big chunk from the beginning. So now I'm just gonna go into, actually, and they have one pocket back here and then two little side pockets over here. This pocket back here, I just have an extra pen in case I should need a pen. And then I don't have anything in this pocket because that's usually where I put my phone, but today I have to film on my phone, so that's what I'm using. And then in the other pocket right here, and I've talked about it, <clears throat> excuse me, before in other videos, but I have my little fan. Oh, needs to be charged. But I have my little fan just in case, you know, sweaty over 50, <laughs> it happens. So I always have my little fan with me just in case. <clears throat> so that's that. Then I'm just gonna do these few supplies I have over here tucked in on the side. And there is no divider in this. It's just one big pocket with the, um, <clears throat> one zipper pocket on the side and then the two pouches on either side and then so there's no divider it's just kind of wide open so then I keep my little Tresemme hairspray because my hair is super curly and has a tendency to get frizzy sometimes so if I'm at work and I start to feel some frizz I'll take one of the curls I'll wet it I'll wrap it around my finger and then I just spray it with hairspray and I just kind of let it fall and usually works pretty good. It's a good little trick if, if you're looking for a trick if you have curly hair. I have a wet brush just because you never know. You might need one. I have my glasses and these are blue light glasses um, which have my prescription in it that I got from Amazon as well. So I'll try to link them in there as well. But these are my blue light glasses. But you can see the lights if I wear my glasses during the video so I try not to. That's why sometimes I can't read the small print, but I'll hold it up to the screen and you guys can read it. And if, it's, if I can link it, I will. So it'll be in the bottom. I have that. <coughs> I have a little spray, Midsummer Dream by Bath and Body Works. So it's a little fragrance mist I picked up. And it's very 
like beachy coconut kind of thing. So if I want to feel, you know, a little sp spritz of freshness, then I just grab this and I use this. So I have that. And along with that, <clears throat> in here also I have Midsummer Night's Dream hand lotion. So I got them both together. And you know how like sometimes Bath and Body Works does buy two, get one free. So that's what I did. So I have a whole bunch and I also have like a little um, You're the One hand sanitizer, which by the way, smells fantastic. So if you're looking for a hand sanitizer to keep with you, I would go to Bath and Body Works and get their scented ones because they are just that good. So I have that. <laughs> and then I have my always standby, my Mentos in Spearmint because it's always good to have fresh breath wherever you are at any time of day. <laughs> so I always have these in my purse. And I don't know if you guys feel this way, but when you're walking in your purse and I hear that little sound, I don't know, it's just very satisfying to me. I love sounds of things like clicking closed and clicking open and just like little sounds that move around like that. I don't know, maybe it's a thing, maybe it's not, maybe I'm just <laughs> the only one, but other people must do it too. So if you are one of the ones that likes to hear those little sounds of like things opening and closing, then let me know, because I'd like to know I'm not alone in all this. <coughs> Excuse me, so I have that. Then I have this little pouch that came in a set of three, also from Amazon. And I use the smaller one for, so um, these are impressed nails. So I keep extra nails in here with um, both types of glue that I use. And I find with the glue, I even though impressed nails are self-sticking, I still use glues too. And I got both of these glues from Amazon. So this is the first one, Nail Bond. And then this one is Super Nail Glue which came in a pack of three, and I'll make sure that they're listed in my Amazon storefront also. But I think these two together, your nails are not going anywhere. And then to remove them, what I do is just take a little bit of straight acetone on a Q-tip and just kind of go around my nail a few times. And just, I take the end, I don't know if you guys have seen people in the salon do this, <laughs> but I use acetone on a Q-tip around my nail then they take a nail that hasn't been used and I kind of just put it right there and I, it just will peel right off. So that's my little trick. That's what I do. And it works. And these nails will be on for two weeks if I want them to, or I could change them next week. And I might change them next week. I don't know. I kind of like these ones. So they might stay on. So I have that. Oh, I have an extra piece of gum. Don't know why, but I have it. Oh, got three of them. I got some more. I don't even know why I have stick gum still in there because I don't even chew with stick gum. I have my earbuds <coughs> or my headphones, whatever you want to call them, in case I want to listen to something like in the lunchroom or something like that. If I want to just kind of like be in my own little zone, I have these. In case I want to watch my fellow YouTubers during lunch, have that. I have some business cards from friends and people that I know. They pass out if somebody asks me. Um, Hey, do you know somebody who whatever? Yes, I do. <laughs> and, I, and I take that out. I have a few little safety pins because you never know when you may have a wall wardrobe malfunction and you don't want to be stuck with those. <clears throat> and being the Christian Catholic person that I am, I always carry my rosary beads with me and they're always in here. And sometimes if I'm having a bad day, I take them out and I will just hold them or keep them on my desk. I will keep them closer to me because how I am. I like to know that God is with me. <clears throat> Sometimes you just need that little added, that is my co-pilot kind of moment. So oh, if I do, I have them handy. Then I have, and I got this at the dollar store, um, just a little notebook with donuts on it because I don't eat donuts, so I hold donuts. <laughs> so there's donuts on there. And then I'll just put like a little list. I'll, sometimes I'll keep this out on my desk at work if there's like something I remember I have to go get or or buy or pay or whatever. I'll just make a little note and then I'll just cross it out. And then I'll just put this in my bag every day. So that goes with me all the time. Then I have this black quilted bag with the tassel and the gold. And it also comes with a pink one. 
and I'll put down some of my other what's in my bag videos because I use the pink one and other ones for my makeup I think but this one just holds kind of a menagerie of things it's quite full so I have a lighter because you never know when somebody else might lead a lighter or you might want to light a candle and your you know your long candle doesn't work I always have a spare with me at all times I have my inhaler I have glasses cleaner for my glasses I have little goggles because I do go tanning sometimes don't yell at me <laughs> but sometimes I do go tanning so I have little goggles for that I have a mask I mean I don't think we need them anymore and I think this one have, is with me because I need to wash it actually because it's dirty but here in Connecticut we're not really using masks so I don't even bother I have a few I don't even know I have all these nail files you know what? I'm gonna take a couple of them out right now and put them back in the drawer there we go a nail file because in case one of these nails should crack or something and I don't have um, the same size with me at least I can file it down and make it even so I always keep that with me I have some allergy tabs I take allergy medicine every morning but just in case I keep a couple extra with me because you don't know I keep a tooth flosser I have a couple of them actually because every day after I eat lunch I brush my teeth and I always floss after I brush it's a good habit to get into <laughs> and then last but not least if I wanted um, another depending on what perfume I wear during the day sometimes I might use <clears throat> my coconut one from Bath and Body Works but I also have Clinique my happy with me which is more like a florally kind of scent so depending on which if I need a little spritz of something I have two options and I like to keep it that way because you never know you might need a little of something and I don't know if I mentioned it my inhaler is always with me because I have asthma so I can't go anywhere without an inhaler so that's everything in this bag <clears throat> then I also have if you watched one of my other videos which I will also link down here using an agenda as your wallet um, I have a whole video on how I set it up and what I do um, I've been using the Dave Ramsey cash method of saving money and spending money and keeping you know really close eye on what I'm spending and saving <clears throat> so I have that listed I'll list that below if you want to watch it so it's just a pink um, agenda that I got from Amazon size a6 if you guys are looking for it and so like inside I just kind of customized it I have like pretty flowers I have some bows <clears throat> excuse me I have some Louis Vuitton luggage I have a little highlighter I have just a couple little personal items that I got from Etsy and I would link them but her shop is no longer there um, this one I made this was from a decennial print um, and then this I got from Etsy and also this little Louis Vuitton bag dashboard I also got from Etsy and she, I got the same thing from both of these from the same person I should say and she's no longer in business and I'm not going to show you the rest of what's inside because it's personal information <clears throat> but I have like little tabs in the back with cash in them and they're all marked for what this money is for oh, that one got a little crinkly <laughs> must have been putting that one in a hurry and then in the back I just have a few pages of notes in case I need that and then I have did you see that <laughs> that just flew out of my planner <clears throat> excuse me and then I have like a little thing of sticky notes that I keep in there I have my a copy of my COVID vaccinations just in case I ever need it and then just some like little sticky notes and I usually keep a pen in here but I think the pen fell out <laughs> so I usually have a pen in here too <coughs> excuse me and last but not least see these pens fall out I love these pens they're from Amazon and they have the crystal on the top and I love these pens but every planner I put them in they fall out so <clears throat> excuse me but this is my this is my planner that I also got from Amazon and it's black and it's quilted and I put a little Louis Vuitton dupe kind of keychain thing in it I have a little Louis Vuitton bow sticking off the front and this is my planner I put all my ideas like for YouTube any doctor's appointments any appointments my husband has any like dinner dates we have if we're going over a friend's house birthdays in my family, anniversaries in my family, Ann and Scott's family. So everything is just kind of in here. 
So I will show you the front cover. I'm gonna do a what's in my planner video, so I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. But I have like little Starbucks. I have some little pink things. And um, I'm not gonna show you the rest. I'm gonna let you wonder because I will do a what's in my planner flip through. Um, that's one of my ideas. I have a few more items um, that I've ordered from Etsy. So I have to wait for them to come in um, so I can finish setting up my planner and then I can share it with you guys. So that's it and this. So I think there's just like some change that fell to the bottom, but that's it. And that's what the inside looks like. Like I said, it does have that pretty leopard print to it. It does have the two pockets right here. And then it does have a zipper pocket right there. And that is it. And I have to say that I've been really enjoying this bag. I got it last year when I was home um, furloughed for COVID. Obviously I bought a lot of things during, during that time, but this was one of them and it was on sale at Soul Society. And for the life of me, I can't remember what I paid for it, but I will definitely link this bag down in the description box for you guys. But I've seen a lot of um, women carry it on Instagram and what have you. So anyway, that was what's in my bag. And then tomorrow morning or tonight before I go to bed, I will take everything out of here and put it back into my work tote, which I will carry for the week. And then again, next Friday when I get home or Saturday morning, I will transfer everything from my work tote to whatever purse I feel like carrying for the weekend. And that's how I kind of do it. I don't want my purse to get wrecked, <clears throat> excuse me, at work. Like I said, I do work for a dealership. So I work in the service department, but like I'm the warranty administrator, service writer, that kind of thing. But if I have to walk through the shop or whatever, sometimes there's tires laying around or, you know, you could bump into something. I don't want my purse ruined. And the tote I got is just a big black tote that I got from Amazon. So <clears throat> if I get a little black marker on it, you won't be able to tell and it doesn't bother me. So that's the method to my madness. So I hope you enjoyed this video of what's in my bag. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I am going to see you tomorrow for another video, actually. And tomorrow we're going to go back to a decorating video. So if you have, haven't subscribed, please do hit the little notifications button. Be a part of my YouTube family. Follow me over on Instagram at treasuresbytina28 because I post daily content there that you don't always see here on YouTube. I'm on there every single day sharing outfit ideas, sharing DIYs, sharing <clears throat> how I make my coffee, sharing home decor, farmhouse tours, that kind of thing. So I hope that you guys join both and I hope I see you again. And until then, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.